Weather with meteorologist Natalie Nunn. Certified by WeatherAid for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Well, Natalie, I think the rain is coming. We certainly need it. But I think some folks hoping to go out on the lake tomorrow are going to be a little disappointed oh, I by know. your upcoming forecast. I know. And I'm going to be very honest. This is a really difficult forecast for tomorrow. I'm one of those that really want to go out on the lake tomorrow. I have the day off. Um, but it, it is going to be tricky. We'll get to that in just a second. First things first, uh, we're still under that heat wave for a few more hours. And as we move through tomorrow, our eastern counties will start off barely warm. Things will change though and we've got cooler air ushering in. We should drop by about 10 to 15 degrees across the area. Right now in Springfield, 95 degrees. I'm okay that we did not hit 100, but our friends to the north did. Camdenton, Lake of the Ozarks, all 100. So is Fort Leonard Wood, 103 in Rollin, 102 in Clinton, and we've got 95 in Branson. But it feels like it's 100 in Springfield, 101 to be exact. 101 in Camdenton, it feels like 100 in West Plains, 101 in Branson. Monette, something's wrong with their reporting station. It doesn't feel like it's 117 there. They're always they're always a little bit higher right now. Okay, outdoor dining. You know, maybe you're out and about tonight. 7 p.m. It's still going to be hot, 94 degrees. As we head into the 9 o'clock hour, I think you're going to get a little relief. We're going to see 86 degrees and very calm conditions, at least with winds and no chance for rain. As we head through tonight, there is a very slight risk that we could see a few showers very scattered across the area. Mid 70s, you're going to wake up. It's still going to be warm out tomorrow. Our highest tomorrow could fluctuate. Models are coming in cooler. I went with 88. I kind of went right between the two, the ones in the 90s, the ones in the 80s. 86 in Mountain Grove. And notice how scattered the chance for rain is. It's really hard to pinpoint who's going to see the best chance of showers, who's not tomorrow. Our eastern counties, probably the best chance of seeing some rain and storms, especially from about Rolla and then kind of pushing out of our area. They're under that enhanced risk. If you're going to St. Louis tomorrow, strong storms could be possible. A lot of us under that slight risk. I think hail and strong winds will be our greatest threat. Here's what future cash shows. As we head through 7 a.m., you notice those showers and storms overnight, mainly to our north. As we progress into the afternoon, it's very scattered and it's not widely spread. This is at 2.30, some stronger cells pushing through West Plains. We can see the chance for a few more to our north at 4.30. This is not a washout type of situation, although we need the rain and probably wouldn't complain too much about it. Then we'll also see on Sunday the chance for a little wraparound moisture and a few daytime showers. I think the better chance of severe weather is actually going to be tomorrow, not Sunday. So when you're looking at your weekend outlook, little breezy. We'll keep that wind circulating. It'll shift in from the west and we're looking at temperatures in the mid to upper 80s across the area and both days there's going to be that chance of rain. If you do not have our weather app, it is so handy in situations like this. I know I will be using it quite often. Now, the next seven days, we have a chance of rain as we end out next week, which is wonderful. We need that rain. I think Tuesday, which is the 4th of July, very scattered showers will be possible. Wednesday night, though, into Thursday, it's looking like we could have widespread, nice, heavy rain. This looks wonderful. Right now it's trending about an inch and I sure hope it's right. Here's that 4th of July forecast for you. Very scattered showers. Looks like it's probably going to be the low 90s now. About 92 and isolated storms will be possible. That seven day forecast, 88 on Saturday and Sunday, 92 on Monday and Tuesday. And the next week, I think we're going to end below average, which actually after this heat wave looks pretty nice.